Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to split one Word document into individual chapters. And later, I'll also show you how you can combine various individual chapters into one main document. Let us learn how to do that from scratch. Here I have a sample document. The first and foremost requirement for us to do this is to have the formatting done properly with styles. In this case, I'm going to choose all my chapter one styles to be heading one. So let us select chapter one and say heading one and you can find styles in the home tab. So let me hit heading one. And of course you can have the body content as normal or you can just leave it the way it is because by default the body content is in normal. Then let us go to chapter two and make it heading one style. And again, chapter three heading one and chapter four heading one. So this is our document and we have four chapters. Now we want to save this in a separate folder. So let me go to file, save as my folder and this I've created on my desktop. And let us call this as my main document. And then let me say save. Now we've got our main document saved in a specific folder. The reason why I created the folder is all our individual chapters will also be saved in that same folder automatically. Now to split this document into individual chapters, we need to go to view, go to the outline view and here you need to select everything here. So you need to press control A and that selects everything including the chapter headings and also the body content. Then when you click on show document in the master document option, you'll see that these new options emerge. Here I'm going to choose create. Now you can see that the individual chapters are now boxed in separate individual boxes. Now I'm going to hit save, close. And now when I go to the main folder, you can see that this is my main document and these are my individual chapters. Now let me show you a very interesting thing. Let me go to chapter one and here you can see I have the title and the body content. Now I'm going to add some fresh new content here. So let me hit enter and say fresh new content. And this is going to be say in red color. So let me reduce the space. So this is fresh new content. Now let us hit save and then go back to the main document and here in the main document that new content is added with the relevant formatting. So once you split your main document into individual documents, you still will see that the main document gets updated based on whatever changes that are made in the individual documents. Now the same thing holds good for the reverse as well. For example, if I want to make changes to main document and have that automatically appear in the individual ones, then I need to first close this chapter one or the individual document that I'm going to edit. Otherwise you cannot do the editing. Now let us say hit enter and say additional content. And let us say this one is in green color just for distinction. And then I hit save. Now let us go to the same folder, go to chapter one and see if we have got that updated. Yes, it is updated. So that is how this main document and the individual documents work. Now that we have learned how to split one document into its individual chapters, let us learn the other trick, which is to pick some random different individual chapters and combine them all into one document. Let us see how it is done. Let us save this and then let me close this. Let me close this main document as well and say save. Now I'm going to create a fresh new document. So let us go to word and let us go to blank document and say save as go to my folder or wherever you want to do it. So let me go to my folder and let us say new document and let us say save. In this document, I'm going to compile all the individual chapters that we have just split. So that let me go to insert, go to object. And here we have the option called text from file. You click on that option. Now I get the option to select the various chapters that I want to compile into one document. Let us select that, hold the shift button down, chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four. And let us say insert. 
That's it. Now, when I go to this document, you can see my chapter one has all the individual information. Then the next page has chapter two and the relevant details, chapter three and the relevant details, and chapter four and the relevant details. It is that simple. So you now know how to split one document into individual chapters and you also know how to compile various individual chapters into one single document. If you like this useful trick, there are tons of such useful tricks and practical techniques available in our complete Word Foundation course. If you are someone who needs to create professional documents, then this is a useful course for you to go through. You can either get this course individually or you can have this as a bundle of three main office programs which are PowerPoint, Word and Excel. You can click on the link in the description box below the video and get that as well. And if you are new to MS Word and you want to get your foundations right, then a good idea is to watch this video next which is Learn MS Word in 30 minutes step-by-step -step tutorials. This is a 30 minute video packed with a lot of useful information on MS Word divided pretty nicely into individual sections with timestamps. So you can follow whatever you want very easily. I will leave a link to this video right here on your screen. Click on the link, go to that video next, watch it and learn something new about MS Word today.